What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the Crypto Blitz, your home for your crypto fix. I'm your host, Triple Ben Winkle. Hopefully, everyone's having an amazing day. Hopefully, your weekend started. Listen, it's Friday. I'm flying out to Vegas. I'm leaving at 6.30. Fight will be in the air. We're boarding at 5.45 in Vegas, 9 p.m. Pacific time, which is really going to be about midnight, what my body is going to be used to. Hopefully, I'm not too tired. I can get out there when I get there and get a little Vegas action into me. I'm excited, and I can't wait now in this episode we got a lot to go over we're going to talk about xrp over ethereum that's what a lot of talking about here love it we're going to talk about chris larson's hack and how it happened because nick bolgelis chimed on in and let us know ripple's announcement that they just put out is xrp the new bitcoin well this article that got published and they quickly deleted they think so we're going to do that all within the next 12 minutes, folks. Sit back, relax, and let's kick it off. Bitcoin, $43,202. It's currently up 2.3% in the past 24 hours. Ethereum coming in at 2318 It's currently up 1.89%. USDTA and USDC both coming in at $0.99. Cents as XRP is a mean lean $0.50. Cents. It's currently up 1.73%. Total cryptocurrency market cap, well... It remains in the red at $1,677 Remember, Remember, $2 trillion, we're bullish. Right now, we're not bullish. $1.75 was that resistance area that we had a breakthrough. We couldn't do it. We touched it. We tapped it. We came back down. Could we go lower? We could. We're going to get into that in a little bit in this video. Don't you worry. Don't forget, folks, last night, $36,000, not XRP. $36,000 was sent out to community members, and all you gotta do is hold a Lux line. The very best, the number one XRP NFT project who just signed a deal with the former CTO of Cool Cats. He's the one who took Cool Cats to where they are today. He's the one that made Cool Cats the Cool Cat on the Ethereum blockchain. They were just in the Macy's Day Parade. Well, guess what? Rip signed a deal with them. Rip is now working with that same freaking group. Where do you think my NFTs are? gonna go where do you think the price is about to go i'll tell you something to the freaking moon folks it's that simple it's that easy i can't sugarcoat it any other way why aren't you a member well i don't know then we get this i tweeted this out and listen i'm i'm gonna call a spade a spade here he's full of shit this bit boy he claims he spent over $25,000 a week to produce his crypto shows. Yeah, right. Sounds like he's laundering money and doing a bunch of different tax writers. I'll tell you right now, for me to do my crypto show, let me let me tell you what it takes. I wake up, I go to my little coffee machine, I put one of my Starbucks espresso pods in, I brew me a Lungo espresso. Eh, the price on it, maybe 30 cents. I take that down. I take my Starbucks coffee that I get from Sam's Club by the bag. I put two scoops in. I hit brew. It makes me two cups of coffee. 20 cents. Maybe max, max per video, folks, a dollar. And that's overestimating. For the week, seven dollars. I know. Uh, it, it's crazy. But 25,000 bullshit. He needs to be looked into. I'm telling you right now, he is laundering money. There are no questions. He's avoiding taxes. He's doing something. It does not cost anyone $25,000 to produce a video, especially when he's sitting in a chair writing on a whiteboard. Get out of here. I can't stand him. I'll tell you right now, he's going broke. 100% this dude's going broke. He sees that he's not making any money in YouTube anymore. I can guarantee you right now, because and he was buying followers on his YouTube account to try to get the numbers up there, so it looks like he's relevant again, but you can tell by the viewers that he has compared to his view count compared to subs, he's not making anything. I'll tell you right now, maybe at the most he might be making on YouTube. If he did, if he did two videos a day, at his view count, he might make four thousand dollars a month, and that's just not good enough for him. You know, he can't he can't take the cost of twenty five k to produce a video. It's a joke. XRP to challenge Ethereum's dominance. Lev, the lead uh, dev reveals how XRP ledgers developer we'd say win reveals a game changing strategy to rival Ethereum's dominance in the crypto space. In a surprising move, we'd say when the lead developer behind the XRPL publicly announced Ethereum founder Vitalik Buterin his 30th birthday. The unexpected congratulations sparked controversy within the XRP community, prompting Wynn to explain his admiration for Buterin's lasting impact on the blockchain space. He says XRP is always playing catch up. 
because all the crazy, creative, innovative, for better or worse, things are happening. Windows could possibly on layer one, hence hooks. Addressing perceived lag, Wincy hinted at a broader strategy, explaining that the XRP ledger is constantly playing catch up. And then Hooks brings advanced smart contracts functionalities, which aims to narrow the gap between Ethereum composability. Interesting. We know we know XRP's jumping Ethereum, right? We know it. Now, I played this in the first video of the day. I have to play it again. This is a thing of beauty. I want you to listen to this. 30 to $50 trillion running across the XRP ledger. Listen, you can't make this stuff up, folks. No, no, well, I'm yeah, probably a bit more bullish, um, but I have been for six years and slightly behind my original projections. But the, t the total market is 1.4 quadrillion, everything that's ever out there. And if you start looking across any of those asset classes, they're all starting to move on chain already. Um, and the ease with which we've seen people interested in the money market fund, tokenized treasuries and those types of instruments, the support for stable coins, when you're talking about replacing cash, when I see DTCC, Euroclear, Clearstream, you know, it only takes one of them to flip onto natively digital. And that's trillions of assets um, on its own that move. So, you know, tens of trillions, I think we could see. And bearing in mind it's 1.4 quadrillion, this is still a tiny slice of a huge market, you know, 30 to 50 trillion, all on XRP, all trading on Artex. <laughs> Here we go, 50 trillion dollars. Yeah, Two years from now, Ripple. 50 trillion, love to freaking see it. Not gonna lie to you, we're gonna see it. Ripple's exec. I kind of missed my tickers and missed up. It's okay, we'll play catch up. Nick Bogerson chimed in. He goes, this looks like a key compromise. Chris isn't even the first nor Sally the last to have funds stolen that way. Key management and security is a huge challenge. Existing tooling isn't always up to the task. I am surprised he didn't use multi-signature or a custody service. Native multi-signing support allows you to configure an account. So as to require a set of several signatures on transactions, for example, Three of five would require three valid signatures from a set of five possible signers. So his keys got compromised. The question is, where, where was he saving the keys? That's what I want to know. Where, where were the keys saved that they got compromised? Egrat Crypto, Bitcoin Outlook. He says in this chart, you get to look at Bitcoin. He said, don't you worry. Bitcoin's still going to all-time high in 2024. I've been preaching that as well. I mean, could it be one final dip, folks? There could be, right? Bitcoin could see a dip into the 30s. Like, who cares, though, at this point? Who cares? Because we know how the rest of this year is going to look. We know what happens following a halving. The price goes absolutely berserk and it goes crazy. We know what goes down here. So if Bitcoin gets a final dip, are we going to be nervous? No. You can see a lot more people leave crypto, I'll tell you that. Like, oh, the halving. Because a lot of people are being preached and spoken about how the halving, that price is going to be all-time high before the halving. Well, you know what's funny? Because the people who've been preaching that, and they were screaming this a year ago, right? They were the only ones screaming this a year ago because they were getting attention for it. And everyone wanted to believe it because they thought the price action was right around the corner. But these people who are preaching it are slowly starting not to make comments on it anymore. And then what are they going to say? They're going to say, well, we kind of just got dragged down and the price went up after. Do the research. Having price action. Simple. It's simple. We're going to see the same thing this year as well. Dark Defender, he wants to share his MACD update. Yeah, I'm just going to break it down for you how simple this is. Listen, XRP can still have another dip. It's that simple. 38 to 40 cents, it could happen. Is it going to happen? I don't know. No one knows. It's crypto. This thing could decide to shoot off and take off at any time. Should you be prepared for it? 100%. How do you prepare for events like this? A lot of people always ask me, Rip, how do we prepare for something like this? I'll tell you how. You dial a course to average. Set a date you're going to buy. Weekly, bi-weekly, tri-weekly, monthly. And your DCA. You have, I buy crypto on, the mon on Monday. Every Monday I buy crypto, folks. And I set and forget it. Why? Because what happens to the price in the short to near term, I'm not worried about. And when I look at the bigger picture and I look to see... You know how much I bought and when I bought it and I look at my average price, it all averages itself out. Even if this dips, even if the price goes to the moon and comes back down, I'm still within that range getting prepared 
for the bigger move. Awesome announcement by Ripple. It says, we're excited to wrap up January of fresh updates from Ripple. Building 90% of a business is, is outside the U.S. after being relatively quiet for the past three years in the U.S. for Ripple payments, we're geared up to announce new product updates powered by their money transmitter licenses that cover a majority of the U.S. states. Interesting, because Twitter's doing this as well, right? To get the ball rolling, we're hosting a meetup, and we talked about this. So it'll be interesting to see what Ripple's new... Uh, payment systems are going to be the new updates and what they're doing within the U.S. because you can see clearly see the focus is coming back to the United States, folks. And then this article popped out. It was from Forbes, and they said the new Bitcoin is XRP, and it's headed to $59,000. Whether it's going to $59,000, I don't know, but the fact that Forbes had an article like this published and deleted it makes you kind of wonder, because when we go back to this video talking about 30 to $50 trillion running across the XRP ledger, and as we covered in the first video of the day, where we spoke about Ripple and IBM getting together for institutional custody, it kind of makes you scratch your head and wonder what's really going on behind the scenes. Listen, I'm going to leave it like that. Well, Wash your damn hands, be nice, and be kind to each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.